Welcome again. We had begun last time by reading Proverbs chapter 24 verses 3 and uh, downwards. And we saw through wisdom is a uh, house builded and by understanding it is established and by knowledge shall the chamber be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. And we said many marriages today are breaking because of lack of knowledge. And we've been saying always that marriage is the only school where people have been handed over certificates before they enter into the class. And uh, it is a time now we change this notion. Before any couple enters into any marriage, it is good they enter into a class. They learn these things and uh, get some knowledges about marriages. Though there are different challenges in every marriage, they are not uh, uh, the same challenges, but there are at least some common challenges in any marriage. The last time we were here, we were discussing about uh, communication in marriage. It's one of the challenges that have caused many marriages to break down. People have been working in assumption and causing the marriage to be broken. And uh, number two, we say God. What is the position of God in your marriage? If you don't have God in that marriage, because we say there are different types of love and all this other love that they normally come to a place where uh, they break and uh, they seem not to be working. But we say it is until your marriage come to a supreme love called agape love, an ending love. So when the husband strives to know God and the wife strives to know God, then there is an ending love that is called agape added into your erotic love. And uh, your marriage will be sustained. Otherwise, without God, there is a challenge in your marriage. Number three, we say the ministry. Every one of us has a ministry that God has sent us to do down here on earth. If you try to temper with the ministry, the calling that God has called that wife, that husband, that man, that woman, then you are in trouble. You are entering into trouble with God, the honor of that vessel, the man, the woman. When you enter into trouble with God, the honor of that vessel, man, woman, then your marriage will not work. You will get trouble in that marriage. Endeavor to support that ministry of that woman. And we say also marriage by, by, marriage by itself is a ministry. But apart from that, individual people in that marriage, they have a ministry that God has assigned them, allocated them to accomplish here on earth. And today allow me to add another uh, point or uh, other points or challenges that are common in every marriage. Number four, it is money in marriage. Have you ever heard this narrative? Women say that my money is my money, but my husband's money is our money. I don't know where this notion came from, but I want you to know money has been a challenge in any marriage. But if you will know how to navigate around money, then you will enjoy your marriage. And uh, I don't know how you are doing it in your marriage, uh, having separate accounts or having joint account. I don't know how you are doing it, but I want, just want you to know. I don't want to give you a solution, but I, I need you to know money has been a challenge in any marriage all over the world. And if you will get it right, then you will enjoy your marriage. Number five is children in marriage. Have you ever had people fighting because of children? In marriage, either the wife is not uh, giving birth, or the, and, and a fight is like uh, the wife is the one with the problem. The, the wife is saying the husband is the one with the problem. And uh, also another scenario you you having children, and uh, when you are having children, uh, maybe the husband want you to call the, the child the name of the father or the mother. And become, it becomes a trap, or maybe the children are grown up and uh, they see how you are relating to one another. And uh, it's something that has been a challenge in any marriage. But I want you to know children are a gift from God himself. And uh, if they are a gift from God himself, then you, you, need, no, you, need, you need to have an understanding uh, on how to stay with your wife or husband while you are waiting for God to bless you with children. And 
those who are blessed, then you need to come to a communication and understanding on how to name your children so that there will be no quarrel. And those who are grown up children in your marriage, then you need to get a code on how to communicate in the house so that you may not influence your children because the Bible, uh, the, the Bible also knows that uh, children learn by seeing what you do in that marriage. And uh, number six, uh, it is sex in marriage. Sex has been a challenge. I've been walking around and uh, talking to Boda Boda guys and they have been sharing with me some uh, things that I think they are challenges to many women. They are not satisfied with sex in their marriages and uh, they are falling into the hands of the Boda Boda guys uh, to satisfy them. And uh, I want you to know the way you eat food and you feel like, uh, like you are satisfied also sex is like food. If you are not satisfied, then you need to ask for some more, some more, some more. And uh, it has been a challenge and uh, it has broken many marriages. You've heard of women being found uh, uh, enjoying sex out of uh, wedlock. You've heard of men, uh, you've heard of men uh, finding other wives. And uh, a, it has been a challenge, it has been a challenge. But uh, if you understand how to go about it in your marriage, then you will enjoy. Allow me also to put a pause at this juncture and uh, join me again in another uh, edition as I finish the last three common challenges and strength in any marriage that you can think of. Be it of a president, be it of a pastor, be it of a commoner, uh, these are the common challenges that you, and the strength that when you get them right, then there will be no challenges and quarreling in your marriage. Shalom, may the Lord bless you. See you next time. This is Pastor